Hello, good morning everyone. Uh, welcome to Selenium tutorial. In this tutorial, we'll see how to create custom report using Selenium. For creating custom report, I will be using some of the additional jar files today. So let's go through it. So let's start with the agenda. What we will do in this video tutorial. So we'll uh, download one extent report jar file that will help us to create custom report. So we'll download that jar file, we'll configure, then we'll create a sample program and we'll create a report and I will show you what are the different features. So we'll analyze the report. So before uh, moving to the exact uh, reporting, let me show you that uh, jar file which we are going to use. So we will be using this extent report jar. Okay, and Thanks to this Anshu Arora who has created this plugin for us or you can say jar file that we will be using to create custom reporting. So here we will get some sample report. So our report will look like in this way. You will see the categories pass fail error warning and here you will get the step summary. We can create uh, log files as well. So you can see we can provide logs as well in this report and we can attach a screenshot as well. So I will be covering a screenshot as well. And it's a very good, uh, you can say reporting feature. You can enable uh, HTML tags also inside this report. So let's discuss one by one. And here you will get some other sections like dashboard, execution info, at, at what time your test case started, ended, how many tests you have executed, how many pass, fail, and how many total steps executed, how many steps pass and fail, and so on. So let's get started. And before starting the final section called system details. So here you can see uh, here it will show you the username, host name, Windows, uh, sorry, your operating system, OS architecture, Java version, locale and memory. So there's so many, um, you can see features available and you can change this title. You can see here my first report and you can see the title Let's insert your new title here. So everything you can customize here. So before uh, actual implementation if you want some more details you can refer this documentation so in this documentation they have covered all possible combination which you can try with this reports so i will directly show you how you can use this so simply you can download this so simply navigate to this download section if you are working with a maven project then you can give this dependency or else you can simply download the jar from this link i will share this link after this video so you can directly download so here you will get one option called download extent report 1.4 so latest version is 1.4 so you have 1.1 1.2 1.3 and 1.4 so well, let's use the latest one if you click on this extent report it will start downloading so you will get a zip file okay, I already downloaded it so I will show you where I have stored I stored this zip file into C drive and uh, in the Mukesh folder and I created one folder called report I stored here so once I will extract this you will get this folder so this the jar file which we have to add okay so let me show you let me create a fresh project so Java project I will say demo 2 let me click on next so first I have to add the selenium jar file so I will quickly add selenium jar first so I will go to C drive, Mukesh, drive, Selenium, Selenium. No, here I don't have standalone. So let me check. Yeah, I have this server standalone. And now let me add the reporting one which we have downloaded right now. So I will go to C drive, Mukesh, uh, report, extend report, and this jar file. Okay. So now I have two jar files. That's enough. For this reporting so I will simply create a new program if you have not done this selenium setup then you can refer my previous videos where I have uh, created a video how to download selenium and how to configure so let me show you let me create a page called advanced reports I will click on finish and I will create a new Java class and I will say verify selenium title I will be using my blog uh, for sample. Okay, so I will try it. Public void uh, verify title. So this is the test case name which I am using, and I will annotate with test ng. Okay. Now I will quickly write program. 
web driver driver equal to new firefox driver then i will take uh, driver dot get so here i will pass my blog url that is http colon double slash learn hyphen automation dot com then i will maximize or before passing the url i will maximize so if you are already aware how to write program you can skip this you can directly skip to the uh, after two three minutes but let me complete this program here i will write driver dot get title so it will return me the title so i will store in a variable called title so here i will put one assertion point okay i will say uh, assert control space i will take assert from test ng so if you are using junit you can take junit but i am using test ng so i will quickly take this one and i have one method called assert true okay that will accept boolean condition so if condition is true it will pass my test case otherwise fail so i will simply say if title contains so whatever title i will get i will say if title contains selenium it should pass my test case otherwise it should fail my test case so if you open my blog i will show you in my blog i have the title welcome to selenium tutorial so you can say selenium web driver tutorial so my con title contains selenium so here i am doing the same thing i am checking if title contains selenium it should pass my test case otherwise it should fail so this is how exactly it will run but i need the reporting which we are talking about so let's go to the documentation once again and uh, let me click back and here they have given this how you can use this so i need to create an object of this extent report which we have added okay so simply you can before opening browser you have to create an object of the extent report extent report is already a class which we have uh, we have downloaded a jar and we have added right so this uh, class is coming from that jar so simply put mouse over it on it and import this and here it is asking give me the class name so in our case our class name is verify a selenium title so i will simply pass this our first step is done we have created object of selen extent report so we can use this reporting feature before using you need to initiate so you can see our second step we have to initialize so i will take the second step and i will simply paste here now it's simply asking where exactly you want to save your html reports okay so if you confuse let me write it since we get this report extent object i can play with this or let me rename it to logger so it will be quite easy for you so i will say logger logger dot init init for initialize now it is asking where exactly you want to save your html report and do you want to replace existing so i will say true so it accept true and false if you say false it will not override any existing report but i will always recommend you to use true so in case if you are having older reports so while running your test case it will replace with the new one okay so in the initiate uh, i will give this path itself i will remove the old one so that you will not confuse i will specify this path control c and navigate to eclipse and you can paste here i will use double slash that is a standard way in eclipse and report name i can give so i will give advanced report and make sure you are giving extension dot stm or html okay so we are almost done now so we have created an object then we have initially initiated now finally i need to start a test so i will say logger dot start test i will give the test case name so now it's up to me what name i need to give so i will say verify page title so this is the exact test case name which i want to appear on the report now we can start logging so now let's say once we are done with this uh, i will say logger dot log okay so log is a predefined method here and i will directly say log status dot info you can use info pass field but right now i'm not validating anything so i will simply put info it means i just want to give information that this particular activity has been completed so i will say logger dot log log logger status info like uh, browser is up and running okay 
now let's say after this I need to uh, give one more information like uh, logger dot log I will say log status dot info and I will say application is up and running I'm just giving some dummy log so that I can show you a good demo in case if you want to change it it's totally up to you how you want to create this logs okay and uh, now after this I want to give one more information like log status log okay like uh, title captured now actually I need to verify right so after this assertion I will put one pass so till now you can see I'm using log status info 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 but after this I want to actually tell user that certain validation has been passed so what I will you do I will say logger dot log and uh, log status dot pass and here I will say the title has been verified title verified okay that's what we have to generate now let's say you want to capture the screenshot as well okay so you need to write a code that will take a screenshot and that will add as of now I will take any random picture so that I can show you how you can add images into your report as well but actually you have to write a code to take a screenshot and add into the reports so in the part 2 section I will show you how to random uh, how to take the screenshot at runtime and how to add into report as of now I will simply say logger dot attach screenshot and simply it will ask you give me the path so this path I will give um, manually as of now but in the part 2 we'll take a screenshot and we'll add so let me take one quick uh, picture so let me take this one so I will take xpath selenium dot png let me take from here so I will right click on the property and I will take this path so it's coming from C drive users Mukesh underscore 50 picture so I will give the exact path and I will give double slash and finally the P, uh, image name so in our case it is xpath hyphen selenium dot png make sure you are giving the right extension otherwise it will not attach and yes we are done 99 percent once you are done you can say logger dot end test that's all so if you remember at the starting we have said start test at last you're saying end test in between I am simply doing some activity depends on your uh, requirement and finally I'm doing some logging which actually I want to display in the report so now finally run this and let's see how it works and uh, after verifying I will simply uh, close my browser so I will say driver.quit or let's don't close this browser so I will I will show you some other things as well so let's run this hope it will work so run as test ng test so it's running and you can see internally it is running via one xml file and xml name is test ng hyphen custom suit xml so it will start your browser it will maximize then it will open my blog learn hyphen automation.com and it will capture the title selenium okay and yes once your page will load our test case will complete it's still running yeah I think it's done you can see the test case has been passed because our title contains selenium now the main point we need to check whether our report is created or not so we have given this path C drive Mukesh report uh, yeah advanced report right we have given this name so if you open this So it's taking some time yeah, so our report is completed since we executed one test case so it's showing only one test case and if you remember uh, in my logging I have given three info steps so one two three and one pass so if you go to step summary it's three info and one pass and this is the exact page title is coming which I have given so if you see the start test I have given verify page title so it's coming here and if you click on this here we go it's showing browser is up and running application is up and running title capture title verified and finally the screenshot how easy it is and you can see the status these are three are the info section one is the validation and this is the screenshot time as well
right now we have only one test case so you should not showing the other test cases but in case if you have pass fail skip test cases you can filter from here so which type of test cases you want okay and if you navigate to execution info yes one test case pass total was four step okay and started at this time ended at this time and finally the system detail so showing my username location discord 50 my machine name my operating system java version and so on so how easy it is right now you can see the default title is coming extent report and you can see it's default is coming insert a quick summary here okay so everything we can customize here so uh, it's totally up to you how exactly you want to customize this so this is how you can do this thanks for watching this video i will highly recommend you to use this report because it's create a very good report and the good thing that we can attach a screenshot without doing any coding so hope you will implement this uh, report in your application so soon i will be uploading part two in the part two i will show you that how to capture a screenshot and runtime and add how to very how to change this title and how to change the test title and so on but still if you want to check now itself you can refer the documentation which they have given they have given each and everything which exactly you want okay. so if you want the exact uh, program which i have created so i have updated the same on my blog so if you navigate to learn automation.com i have created a post on the same and you can see how you can download and I have given some other information actually so if you want to visit my blog and you want to directly copy paste you can go and copy paste this program and run your new machine it will run okay so let me check whether we have covered or not yes we have covered yes download jar configure create program analyze reports so that's all for this video uh, thanks for watching this video if you like this video please share with your friends subscribe to my blog so that once i upload new video you will get a subscription mail uh, that new video has been uploaded so keep uh, visiting keep sharing um, see you in the next video have a nice day bye bye